Have you ever needed to install Ansible on Red Hat Enterprise Linux? If so, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do that in just five easy steps. Before we get started in the demo, let's take a look at those steps and some of the prerequisites. The first prerequisite is Red Hat Enterprise Linux must be registered to a subscription. Now this can be a developer subscription, which is free, and I've got another video to, to show you how to, how to do that. Once you've registered Linux with the subscription, then you can actually run a yum update just to make sure that you, you have an updated system. A step two is actually to install Python 3.12, which at the time of this video is the, is the latest. Next step is going to be install Python 3.12 pip, which pip is a Python package manager. And then step four, we'll, we will actually use pip to install Ansible. Step five will install PyWinRM, which is a Python library for WinRM. So let's go ahead and switch over to my demo environment. And we'll go ahead and start up the Red Hat machine. Now this is a fresh install of Red Hat 9.4. And at the end of this video, we'll go through a couple of troubleshooting steps and just in case you have any issue connecting to your uh, managed nodes. So as you, you can see in my environment, Red Hat Ansible demo will of course be our Ansible control node. And then SRV1 and SRV2 are both Windows Server 2022 machines with WinRM configured. Now if you're not sure how to configure WinRM on a Windows machine for Ansible, I do have other videos available for that as well. So. I'm going to go ahead and just connect to this machine using SSH. I am using the VMware Workstation Pro, so it makes it real easy just to connect to SSH, or you can actually start up a terminal window and connect to the IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I believe I've already updated this machine, but I'm going to go ahead and just make sure. It looks like I don't have any updates, so we can go ahead and go to step two where we install Python. Once Python is installed, we're going to go ahead and install pip. And then our next step, we're going to use Python 3.12. So I should have mentioned one additional prerequisite is this machine must have access to the internet so that these packages can be downloaded. And it needs to be on the same network as your managed hosts. And then the last step is we're going to install PYNRM or PyWinRM. And that's two dashes uh, Actually, I made a mistake. Let's go ahead and fix that for the Ansible install. That should have been two dashes. Now it's installing. Now that Ansible is installed, we'll go ahead and do the installation for PYWinRM. And now that everything is installed, let's go ahead and just make sure that our Ansible version, or make sure that Ansible uh, runs successfully and gives us a version. So we can see that Ansible Core 2.17.3 has been installed. 
our next step is I'm going to go ahead and create a directory and just call it Ansible demo and then within this directory we're going to create our inventory file we'll just call it host.ini and let's go ahead and open it up and instead of typing out all of this information I'm just going to copy and paste so in my environment I do have DNS configured so I'll show you both ways you can either use the host name as long as they the names do resolve and you're using a DNS server uh, but if not I'll show you how to do that with an IP address as well so the first thing we're going to define our group which is going to be Windows client servers and in that group I have two Windows machines SRV1 and SRV2 and they are joined to an Active Directory uh, domain so the next step is to define our variables by default Ansible will of course try to connect using SSH uh, which I think in Windows Server 2025 you can use SSH but we're going to go we're going to set our Ansible connection to WinRM because that's what we've used for the configuration and then we're going to ignore a server cert validation we're going to use port 5986 which is using HTTPS we're going to use NTLM but I do have a couple of other videos that shows you how to set up Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Ansible and Kerberos Kerberos being a, a more secure transport mechanism and then we're going to set up a couple of timeouts let's go ahead and save that and now we're going to run an Ansible ad hoc command so we're just going to run Ansible we're going to provide the inventory file which is the one that we just created we're going to use a dash M for module and then we're going to use the win ping module and then we're going to actually let me back up for a second I need to specify the group which is Windows clients I believe that's what I used Windows client servers or you could just put all here instead of that but we're gonna go ahead and just use the group so Windows client servers inventory is host.ini the module we're gonna use for this ad hoc command is win underscore ping and then the user is I'm just gonna connect using the local administrator on those two boxes and then I'm going to uh, and then Ansible will prompt us for the password let's see so I forgot the S on Windows client server should be Windows client servers specified credential was rejected by the server so that means I've probably provided the wrong password let's try that again so you can see that we successfully connected to both of those machines now we could now that we've verified that we can connect uh, using a set of credentials you are it, Ansible is ready to begin running playbooks and tasks and even roles against these machines I'm going to try one other credential just to show you that we can use a, a domain credential. And that was successful as well. All right, so if you do not have DNS set up, and that's actually one of the troubleshooting steps is to if you're using server names make sure DNS con is configured and then that and your Linux machine is using the a DNS server if you still have an issue or if you're using IP addresses which I'll show you in just a second how to do that you need to make sure that WinRM is configured on the Windows managed nodes correctly uh, I do I've got a blog post and videos on on how to set up your Windows managed nodes as well and then 
you also need to make sure that firewall rules, if, if the Windows firewall is enabled, make sure that the rules are in place to allow access over port 5986. So one last thing, we're going we're gonna to change our inventory file to use IPs. And you do that by specifying an Ansible host equals, and then I believe the IP address is for that one. And then let's go ahead and do SRV2. Go ahead and save this. And we'll run our same ad hoc command again. and it's successful. So quick video just to show you how to set up Ansible on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now, of course, this is a very simple installation. Some of you may have other firewall rules and, and everything in place on your Red Hat machine, but you can give this a try in VMware Workstation Pro. It is free at the time of this video for personal use. And then Give it a give it a try. Try to use Ansible against your Windows machines in your your environment. So if you like this content, leave me a comment down below. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see. This actually was a request from another video where I was using Ansible on a Windows subsystem for Linux. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.